why I think that the the app and the game because uh, that the point of it should be um, to show that the people that if you coordinate actions that the people can control the politicians. Um, you know, maybe maybe the the point the app is where like people vote on like one thing that they will require the politician to do to get their vote. Um, and then, right, so everybody votes on one consensus thing that the politician must do to get their vote. Um, and then you send it to them. And, and maybe you start off with like local elections um, and just, just try, to, try to get as many people as possible. And some of them might be, might be silly suggestions, but whatever the most people um, agree with, and then you send that to the politician and you, and you see if you can make the people, make the politicians do something, anything whatever they want. Well, in this case, it's the fast. It's what? The, the fast, the, the, the monthly fast on the 15th is to say, all right, politician, demonstrate that it's not all about you. Right. Right. You're willing to, ta- you're willing to support, um, put other people in front of, in, you know, put the larger, demonstrate that it's not all, not all about you. That's a big ask. Does Mitch McConnell care to be seen as it's not all about him? I don't think he gives a damn. Yeah, he's unfortunately, he's not up for re-election this time around. I know, either. but, but you know, he's not the only one like that. Well, I don't know. I think we, it's really a good question. We need to find a, a good gamification. Yes. So I didn't really understand the one that you said, Eddie. Get them to, to choose anything they want, not something in our agenda. Yeah, well, it could be something in the agenda. It, it's 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 up to it's crowdsourced. It's up to the people, like whatever people, like you know, anyone can suggest, make, create suggestions, and then everybody votes on the suggestions. And whatever filters to the top, like the most people said that this is what they want the politician to do um, before the election to get their vote. Then you send that to the politician, whatever it is. And and even even if it's something silly like they you want the politician to jump into a ten foot cake and record it and show everybody, um, it would at least show people that you can control the politicians as long as you coordinate. So that maybe it, maybe the first one is like jump into a ten foot cake, but the second one is like pass UBI um, or or put it in front of the legislature or on the president's desk, as, as Brian often says. Yeah. I'm not a fan of trying to get them to do something silly as a way of appealing to the lowest common denominator, because that's a lot of what is driving a lot of our political problems is this appealing to the lowest common denominator. And if we want to fix our, our problems, we need to change direction, not, not go further. That's my, that's my position. I, I see, I hear where you're coming from, Eddie, of let's do something to, to show our control over them but I feel like it should be something sincere and not stupid. I agree. Because, Why don't we I mean, think what, what, about this? What, what, I mean, Eddie, what does that say about me? If I'm like, hey, I don't care who wins this election as long as they're willing to jump in a cake. What does that say about me as a voter, as a, as a responsible citizen? That I'm well, this, to, that, like, this, is a hy- this is a hypothetical. I mean, the, the point is that uh, people are the way they are and and there's not one of us in a room who is going to be able to change. Well, the, the thing is that there's not one of us in the room that can, that can dictate and say what are the millions of voters going to, going to want. I mean, it's, it's up to them. But you know, maybe the thing that you can do is to actually show very clearly that it is up to them um, because right now they, it's not up to them because they can't coordinate and that all you have to do is coordinate and then you can accomplish anything then you, that you want. And if, if the millions of voters, after they discover that they can coordinate and they can change the world, you know, if, you know, it, it, so it's a question like, what will they do? Um, and I would actually say that they'll, they'll probably do the right thing. Um, and if they, if you, if they can't do the right thing, if, even if they realize they have the power, um, then we're, we're screwed, you know, anyway. 
<laughs> anyway, you anyway you cut it. I don't I'm think about this over the uh, week. Jumping in cakes, but I but I'm saying that um, you know, like one thing that people tend to have in common is is humor. Humor humor is brings people together, uh, and humor you know sends things around. Um, people will share things because it's funny, and and sometimes like you know it will be funny. Um, you know, it's like political cartoons, like you and memes. Like you try to make it funny, but at the same time, you know, sometimes you're making a point with the humor. Um, and you know, for some reason, that's the that's the way people work. Um, is you know, there's I don't know, humor. Has, oh, and I, I yeah, were. again, I'm 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 not saying that it has to be um, jumping a cake. I'm saying it might be, and it's up to the people. It's not up to me to decide what the people vote on. It's up to the people to decide what they vote on. Um, and, and, you know, the, but that, that may like having silly options available, which the people themselves will decide if they want to put those up or not. Um, you know, that to potentially could contribute to the, the numbers. Um, you need, you need numbers. If you don't have numbers, there's nothing to decide. We have no decision available. If, I guess, if we don't again, have I, numbers, I guess I don't. I don't see how that. What does that say about me as a voter? To say yes, I'm willing to pull my votes, and then everybody's going to vote on what we want the politician to do in exchange for our votes. Either jump in a cake, pass UBI, or yeah, um, some other some other completely different policy. Right? What, Brian? Why are you asking that question? Well, like what? What? Be, like. Because I don't, I don't have um, great faith in um, putting, a, letting people. This is the Bodie McVote face thing, right? This is yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you're like, hey, come up with something wacky and popular to try and get votes for it, I'm not persuaded that the most principled things are going to float to the top. Yeah, like I feel like you are trying to, you want people to be a certain way, and you're afraid that they are not um, a certain way. You want them to be serious and value driven, and you're afraid that they're not serious and value driven. Well, I don't know about being afraid. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I feel agree like with if you give them a path of, um, of least resistance, yeah. again, handle to the lowest common denominator of doing something wacky and silly, that you'll you will get that, you will create that. One of the whole ideas for me is that we want to change. We want to change the conversation and we want to change the the flow of the society from that frivolous is the word to move but i just felt i felt as good as i felt about this tonight as i felt since we've been doing this and um i thought i heard she was said we can talk about this more later or um, yeah, we, if we take some time to think of it, we might come up with some good ideas. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I want to say, like, um, you know, we, the, the four of us, we, we don't have a say in what millions and millions people of people are like. Um, we have no say. Like, they are going to be, they are the way they are. And the only hope of having some influence that we have is to, is to, like, lead that energy like a little bit, you can have some influence um, and it has to be really, really smart. Um, it has to, you know, and it's just, you, you have the, you have to use four ounces to, to divert a thousand pounds, basically. Um, and, you know, you, you, you can lead it towards the serious thing. So. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slightly disagree. I hear what you're saying, Eddie, and I, I hear where you're coming from, but I'll slightly disagree with you. And you were talking a couple of weeks ago about, um, the guy, the social media guy, the guy who wrote an article about social media for the Atlantic, I forget his name, um, and talking about the way that the social media is structured encourages these bad behaviors, the, the retweeting and things like that, where things go, go viral and everybody just piles on um, in this kind of way. And so it's the structure that, that leads to that. And so if you're creating a structure where things like get the politicians to jump into a cake, can float to a to, to the top, then I think we should create a better structure. Uh, well, it's well it, probably something better than jumping into a cake. Okay, that was off the top of his head. Right. <laughs> was it though, Eddie? 
I feel like this is this is it something is. that you know would make people laugh and would get a bunch of likes and views and whatever else, right? And that's that's why you're suggesting it. Yeah, I mean, I, I what I'm saying is that you know people people are the way they are, and if you if you try to if you try to completely change them and say they should, if you try to censor them and say you're not allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do that. Um, you know, unless you have an enormous, unless you're Kim Jong Il, Kim Jong Un in North Korea, then maybe you can tell them what to do. If you're not, they're going to do what they want to do. And the only influence you have is, um, is you know, you, you don't, you, you just, you can't, you can't dictate what they're, what you want them to do. They're, they're going to do what, what they want to do. Well, not and, dictate, but you okay. can inspire them. And you say, look, you can inspire you them. You can inspire yeah. them and say, remind you yeah. that this is what the Constitution is about. These are the things that we're supposed to be doing. We as Americans are supposed to stick together. We can solve these problems. We, if we want to, we have the power. And all we have to do is be willing to work together to ignore the two party system and ignore this lesser of two evils paradigm and instead come together around solutions. We can do it. Or we can try and get them yeah. to jump in case. <laughs> Um, well, the, those they're not they're not mutually exclusive. Like uh, they're not mutually exclusive. <laughs> they're um, you know you can, you can you definitely should do that. But you know I'll yeah I mean you look at what goes viral and what people share, and um, a lot of it is like really stupid funny stuff. <laughs> so, okay, you know, Eddie, I, I have can... a question for you. Do you want them to come to uh, our level or do you want to drop to theirs? question of beginning where if you if you got a junior high school dance and the girls on one side and the boys on the other you know nobody dances until somebody goes over to get the other one you got to go where they are to to start with them is what i think is what eddie's saying and then move them to where you want them to be is that kind of it eddie yeah exactly you got to go to where people are you you, you can't just say you know I'm in the best place and everybody needs to do as I'm doing. And that's yeah. the, the level that, you know, everybody should be. Um, that's like nobody, that's not, I don't think that'll be super effective. Like people will be like, no, you know, I think on my level is the, the, the place you should be. Um, yeah, but when somebody says something funny, um, like people ask. <laughs> I mean, I have found in my life that when I think it's obvious, people should be really excited about whatever it is that I that I think is really important. You know, it's just like, I am not good at, I have not had much success at that. And I, you know, I think you gotta, you, you, to woo them, you got to start with what, I agree with Eddie, you got to yeah. start with them where they are. I'm not saying it should be lowest common denominator. I'm not saying it should be stupid, but somehow you got to find something that will that will grab their attention yeah and i'm not saying people, things should be a certain way i think i'm saying that things are a certain way yeah and if you want to make things to be the way they should be you have to start off with where they are right now and like into it towards where it should be um you know you, you can't you can't just sort of quantum leap it Straight to, straight to YouTube, and, yeah. But the way that things are right now is in 469 federal races, people are going to pick the lesser of two evils and send these people off to Congress and hope it all works out. That's where we are at now. And that doesn't work. So, yeah. And I, I mean, I, I think that the thing that, that is like just ready to go, like it could, it could change, it's like right there, is that, um, you know that is that again that that people that there's somehow this like the people are not in control because the people don't realize that they are and could be in control and if you just do that one thing and not even worry about what people are going to do when they realize they have control and just i actually trust that when the, you know that they'll, they'll do the right thing um, but if you just change that one thing, maybe that would make a huge difference. And maybe that is actually possible to do. In fact, you could even tell them from the beginning that we're running an experiment here. And um, so we're going to start out by, by getting, you know, we believe that by cooperating, we can have 
a lot more impact than if we don't cooperate. And so let's co-op, let's just do a little experiment to see and do maybe a silly experiment, all right? And once we see that we actually could get the result that we wanted, then say, okay, now let's apply that to what we really want to achieve. Um, you could try this in the Michigan governor's um, race. The Republicans have a primary for their governor's race in Michigan, and a bunch of their candidates just got kicked out because there was fraudulent petitioning going on. And so you got like a five or six way race. And you could do something, something stupid like, all right, we're going to endorse the candidate who says booga booga the most times on Twitter um, before the primary. And something, something like that. So a very low barrier for entry, and then try and get them to compete against each other to yeah, do it yeah. more time than other. Yeah, we could we could try it. And and again, it, the I'm point not going to try it, but I'm saying open, there's a you asked no, you were asking for a place. Look, to try it's, it, and it's, so I'm throwing that out there. The, right, but the, like what I the, like the thing is just make an open platform. So somebody may end up like putting booga booga on there. It's not us putting Booga Booga on there. We're just making an open platform and then whatever people put and whatever people like. Flag it. What was that? Why don't we lead with the Confederate flag? There's a bunch of people that would respond to that. <laughs> we would actually consider banning that. That's the only thing we would ban. <laughs> booga booga, we're not going to ban. Like, if people like it, you know, fine. Uh, if but if they want to be like racist and and, and crap, we, we are going to ban. We're going to ban that. <laughs> I'm saying there's all kinds of people in the world, and do we want to invite the lowest, what's called the lowest common denominator? Do we want to, do we want to start with the problem, or do we want to start with the solution? We're not inviting the most common denominator. We're not inviting people to put the flag on. We're just inviting people to participate and put, you know, put on there whatever they're going to put. And you know, the Confederate flag. I would say most things like you know, it's open season. Like you can do whatever you want. But um, I would I would support banning the Confederate flag in particular. Like if well, that would, means it gets attractive, you know, we'll 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 cut the cord on that. I, I, I don't think we should start with that. No, I was being going to make a lot of enemies that way. I was being a smart ass. I was talking about that you can draw anybody you want. I was just saying we want to pick out who we want to draw. That's all I'm saying. Who do we want to? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, you can sure you can seed it with stuff that you think is good. Now we could get on, TikTok. but but it's open. Anybody can 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 get on there. Can, I've seen can people on TikTok that are making great political space. So. Um, you can reach that that group without being silly. Um, you can be real. They like that, and uh, it gets a lot of views if you just tell the truth. But I don't have the TikTok mentality because you got to be quick and you got to say your shit and uh, and get it done. Uh, but I've seen some really interesting people on there that, um, especially the younger ones, they're really into uh, who you are and, and being the best of what you can be and raising yourself, making yourself to a higher place. And uh, I like that kind of energy. I, put, I, I shared one of those guys on the Discord. I'm sorry, Brian, idiot. Brian, what is the mission?